my name is Jamie Levine from ChefJamieLevine.com and today I'm showing you how to make grated broccoli and cauliflower salad. So first things first, you're going to want to buy one crown of broccoli, like so, and one head of cauliflower. And you want the cauliflower to be on the smaller side because we want about an even amount of broccoli and cauliflower in this dish and start slicing. And you're gonna notice that the florets are gonna break up at first, but not to worry, that's fine. It's gonna be mixed in with everything else and it's not gonna make a huge difference. So you're looking for pretty thin slices. I'm actually gonna make this a little thicker. And just want to go around and kind of rotate so you get all sides and you're going to get the florets, you're going to get some stem, you're going to get maybe a couple of leaves, it's all good, it's all going to taste good. So we're leaving the cauliflower and broccoli raw in this, no cooking, it's awesome. That's pretty good. All right, so still left a little bit, but if you're feeling inclined, add more, whatever you'd like. So now we have this, give it just a head start, mix it all up a little, and then we're gonna add a few more things. So first thing we're gonna do is mince one shallot. Cut them in quarters. Move all the skin. So we're gonna go ahead, I just kind of remove the core. You can go ahead and chop those up after, um, but these are the ideal pieces. So right away I kind of like to just salt it so I don't forget. Season with a little bit of cracked black pepper. I'm gonna add currants. They're absolutely brilliant in this. Add the sweetness that everything else doesn't give you. Just rounds out the dish. Some toasted sliced almonds. Those I just toasted about 300 degrees, 10 to 12 minutes or so. And then our vinaigrette, which is apple cider vinegar, buttermilk, mayo, and a little bit of powdered sugar is just gonna be thrown in with everything. No need for a separate bowl. So I have a half of a cup of mayo. You can substitute Greek yogurt if you'd like. It's a great alternative if you're worried about the, this um, cholesterol. A little bit of apple cider vinegar, about a tablespoon or so. Buttermilk, half of a cup. And then powdered sugar. Just gonna give that a big toss and this can definitely be made ahead of time. I'm gonna go ahead and plate this. So I'm just gonna put this. So store it in the refrigerator if you're doing this ahead of time. Bring this to your next potluck. You're gonna blow everyone out of the water I'm Jamie Levine and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.